pictures. You're a very funny man. Thank you, brother. And you. Uh, that would be alone a reason to have you here. But you're interesting because you're a guy who kind of gave it all up. You know, you, you made millions of dollars in the movies. You gave most of it away. Yeah. You gave up your big mansion yeah. uh, for like a, a mobile home, a nice one, but still a yeah, mobile yeah. home. Yeah. Well, if it had uh, worked, I would have kept it, but it, it, it didn't do what, you know. Yeah, what, what, why didn't all that stuff promised. make you happy? That seems like Because it doesn't. I mean, we've studied it, right? We've, we have this new field of science called positive psychology. And we know now that money up to a certain point does improve happiness if you're, your happiness. If you're hungry and you're homeless, it's going to improve your happiness. Right. But beyond like 50000 to $75,000, depending where you live, really, it doesn't make you any happier. 50. Yeah. 50. I know. Not in L.A., maybe. I, yeah. I, not in L.A., yeah. You can't <laughs> be happy 50. for 50, can you, Dana? <laughs> not in 50, no. Uh, but, okay, so you are happier now. Yeah, I am. You know, happiness is not a destination. It's a process. But I feel much more robust, much more myself. Much more alive. Do you have a car? I, I do. I bike a lot, but uh, I actually commuted from my home in Malibu to Universal when I had a deal at Universal, which is like a 45 mile commute over the hill. Uh, on a bike? You, on a bike, yeah. Wow, you walk the walk. Well, yeah, so I mean, bike look, to I, bike. I, I, Look at that. I think a lot of the conversations that we have... These we, phonies love you. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're not about to well, do it. <laughs> I'm like anybody, right? The first finger always gets pointed out. So I'm sitting in traffic one day, and I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, traffic in L.A. sucks. Then I realize, oh, I am traffic. So I wanted to do something about that. And so one, you know, take a car off the road, one out of every What do you think about that days. old lady who won the Powerball lottery? What do you think she should do? I mean, she's old. She can't use it. Uh, She's like 84. She won like, um, like hundreds of millions I, of dollars. I did not hear about th this woman, but we, we, we know what lotteries do to most lottery winners, and that's the same rules of happiness You're right. Apply. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. They, they're not happy. Sometimes they're yeah. suicidal from it. That's right. It tears families apart. People wow. come in and after the wealth, and it's just a, pretty much a mess. Mm. Yeah. I'm giving away all my money. Not to Obama this time, though. <laughs> um, but um, I read in your book about... Your belief, you have an interesting belief about cooperation in the animal kingdom. Yeah, now, yeah. I, I know people work better cooperating, but yeah. I, I, you have to explain this to me that you think nature on the animal level, because I've never seen animals cooperate. Well, what, what, you never see animals cooperate? No. Really? You ever seen a herd? A herd? Yeah, a herd is a, 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 a group of animals moving in unison. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they're, 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 they're not... They're not cooperating with the thing they're killing. Right, right. But uh, is, yeah, no, the, no, no. The jackals are not cooperating no. with the gazelle. You're That's... absolutely right. You're absolutely right. However, uh, they're not taking more than they need, right? Our philosophy yeah. is to take everything we can. They don't That's... kill. A lion kills one gazelle. It doesn't kill every one. So there is competition in nature. It pushes us towards excellence in our specific species, no question about it. But the way nature thrives is through cooperation. Look at a coral reef. You're saying animals are communists. Uh, without the system, yes, they are. They take what they need and then they freely give back. The sun, by that definition, is a communist. Now, I'm not for the communism. Sun. The sun, the sun freely receives and it freely gives. The sun has an economy that is very different than our economy. The, this, that sun? Yeah, well, that's actually a light, but yeah, that sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. The, the sun. What? Yeah, yeah. How much has the sun charged you for the nutrients that you need to live? Right, but we set up. This is why I wrote life's operating manual because hmm. if we want to know why things are broken, <laughs> it's because we don't see how life works. Right. Actually, the story we tell is the story of the exception of the human species, which is all the problems. But cooperation is actually also the story of the human species. We're moving along this migrating. But animals path. Are, are, you know, are cruel and heartless. I mean, like, like the runt of a litter. I mean, there's there's yeah. always a runt because the dog, the the bitch has like eight nipples, and there's nine dogs, and and the nine dogs don't go. Let's share these nipples. Let, let, <laughs> let's make sure everyone gets a little bit of the nipple and we can all survive. Yeah. They're like, no, you're the runt, you die. Yeah, that's, that's a story, but then tell the story of a coral reef. Tell, tell the story of a rainforest. Tell the story of the human body, right? The human body is one... With eight nipples. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the human body is one big cooperative, right? Well, Every, well, everything is giving right. to everything else, and when it doesn't, you get sick. All right. So